So, Secretary Blinken, dear Tony, uh, welcome to the NATO Foreign Ministerial Meeting here in Bucharest. Uh, it's always a pleasure to meet with you, and uh, thank you so much for your personal commitment, uh, support to NATO, to our transatlantic bond. We meet here in Romania, and I think uh, that is very timely and important because Romania is a neighbor to Ukraine, and we see a uh, war raging on there, a war where President Putin is failing, but he is responding with more brutality, attacking Ukrainian cities, attacking critical infrastructure, and President Putin is now turning winter into uh, a war uh, or a weapon of aggression against the Ukrainian people. And, um, and therefore, we need to uh, support Ukraine, and I'm extremely grateful for the strong support from the United States, uh, military support, economic support, uh, and everything you do uh, to help the Ukrainians. And I'm absolutely confident that the message uh, from the meeting here today and tomorrow will be that NATO allies uh, uh, will uh, provide uh, and continue to provide unprecedented support to Ukraine. We need to stand together uh, because um, uh, it is in our security interest to ensure that President Putin doesn't win uh, because that will send a message that authoritarian leaders can get away by using uh, brutal military force. We will also address um, the challenges that China poses uh, to uh, NATO, to our interests, our security. And of course, we will also meet with Foreign Minister Koleba from, uh, from Ukraine, but also the Foreign Ministers from our close partners, uh, Moldova, uh, Georgia, uh, and Bosnia and uh, So once again, welcome. It's great to see you here. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, bringing us together here in Bucharest. I agree with you. This meeting could not be more timely, and it couldn't be uh, in a better place uh, for the, uh, the reasons that you said. Uh, NATO is stronger and more united than at any time I can remember, and I've been doing this for nearly 30 years. Um, that's in no small measure thanks to the leadership of the Secretary General in Stoltenberg, uh, who's been remarkable in um, making sure that our alliance stays together, united in purpose, united in action. Uh, we will be uh, reaffirming our support for Ukraine uh, as we go forward. Uh, we will be reaffirming uh, our support and the work that we're doing to strengthen our own alliance, work that uh, was critically important at the Madrid summit and that will now be carrying over to Vilnius uh, next year. We'll have uh, two soon-to-be new members of the alliance, uh, Sweden and Finland, with us uh, for, uh, for these meetings today. Uh, that's important as well. Uh, but the fundamental principle that we have and that we brought to the Russian aggression against Ukraine, that we bring to other challenges, including challenges that uh, China poses to our interests, uh, is that we are doing it together, we're doing it united. That is NATO's greatest strength. Uh, it's a strength that the Secretary General has helped to, uh, to nurture, uh, and it's a strength that we're going to see on display here over the next two days. Thank you. 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 Thank you.